Hi, my name is Dan Labasi. I'm a stylist, art director, photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Over the years, I've had a bit to work with like incredible artists such as Steve Savage, David o, Rema, Falana, Wald, and pretty much everybody. Uh, also been published on Days, Vogue, Aki Digest, ID Magazine, and many others. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, also worked on film projects such as Aim of Feb, Lizard, and yeah, Black is King. <laughs> Let me show you my Legos. From the fashion to the food, the streets that are brimming with activities and the nightlife you won't find anywhere else. Lagos is more than my home. She's my muse. Her beauty is that she keeps evolving. Uh, here, everyone is always moving and yet the spirit stays the same. Lagos has everything, the culture, the landscape, the fashion in every corner. There is always something visually that draws you in. When it comes to high-end luxury fashion and lifestyle, Alara Lagos is the number one stop. Come, let's explore. Alara stocks some of my favorite brands, such as Toffer, Zara, and Kenneth Ize. It also has one of my favorite restaurants, Knock, where I will be meeting my friends today <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> One of the things that makes Knox so special is their menu, which contains a variety of unique interpretation of traditional West African dishes, such as abula, plantain, board yams, and egg sauce. The space itself incorporates specific types of textile and decor, such as the woven chairs, the lampshades, that are all intentionally West African. This is definitely somewhere you would want to visit for a lovely brunch or dinner outing with friends and family. Fashion in Lagos has so many layers. On one hand, you have luxury, but on the other hand, you have brands who cater to more niche experiences, like travel. If you're looking to create an exciting travel wardrobe, the Andreyama store right here in the heart of Victoria Island, Lagos, offers you that experience. It's fresh, whimsical, and just gorgeous. For me, I would imagine a muse who appreciates the idea of exploring the dual nature of the city. The scenic, quiet beach on one hand, and a busy Sunday afternoon by the food truck on the other. My friend Aduke easily comes to mind. Aduke and I are exploring Tedosho Market in Yaba, which is famous for its extensive range of fabrics and clothing items. An integral part of the fashion culture in Lagos involves bespoke tailoring especially for big events like weddings, birthday parties, funerals, and of course, the signature Wambe. If you wanted to go to a party wearing Ashrebi, tailors like the ones we have here are usually your go-to. The tailors here come from all over Nigeria and have a wealth of knowledge and experience when it comes to sewing traditional and contemporary clothing items in a wide range of styles and fabrics. Today, I'm visiting the Lecky Arts and Crafts Market, wearing one of my favorite designers, Emmy Catsbit, who employs local artisans in the making of his fabrics. His design aesthetic is rooted in a poetic appreciation for Nigerian culture. For someone like me, who is a lover of items of cultural significance, the Lecky Art Market is a good melting pot for local artisans from all over the country, from Abia, Delta, Anambra, Kanu, you literally can find anything here. So today, come with me, let's explore. Whenever I come to the Lekki Arts Market, I am looking for something new. It's almost like a treasure hunt where you have no idea what you will find. 
The items here can easily be repurposed or incorporated into art, fashion or interior design. For tourists who come to Lagos as well as people interested in creative research, this is easily the go-to space for souvenirs and memorabilia. Mr. Bobo is one of my favorite shopkeepers at Leggy Art Market. Amongst other items, he is a collector of traditional musical instruments, many of which come all the way from Eastern Nigeria, which resonates with me since ancestrally, that's where I'm from. One of the things that makes Lagos so special is definitely the music. The city is a breeding ground for some of the best musical talent in the world. Nighthouse Studio, which can be found in the corner of Ibutimata, is one of the music industry's hidden gems. A space where a lot of today's biggest stars can be traced back to. Whisked, Yemilade, Star Plus, and MI are just a few of the now iconic artists who started recording their music here. In Lagos, all you really have to do is listen closely. I mean, you never really know. The next big star could literally be recording a few blocks from you. Hoping for a ray of sunshine to confirm it's my time, I finish our zone now. In Lagos, there is a whole philosophy behind the way things are created that gives you a sense of our culture and history. You can see it in the architecture, fashion, even our music. Deju Thompson is the creative director of Lakers Space Program, a brand whose work speaks to how all of these elements come alive. Today, I will be his muse. This brand is like one of my favorite brands because of how alternative it is and the fact that it actually like creates a space for um, people who are supposed that want to exist outside of the norm. I really saw like seeing myself as an outsider. I never really saw like seeing myself in popular culture. So I think for me, Lagos Space Program is an opportunity for me to create a niche for myself, but also sort of like tell the outside world that there's so much going more coming on in the continent. You know, there's a very vulnerable side, there's a very soft side, there's a very dark side, and that's also Africa. I love the way this line manages to combine misfit sensibilities with traditional nuances. They're the perfect wardrobe for venturing into the more edgy hotspots in Lagos, like this corner of Bogobiri House. It has everything from like old records, archival books, and you know, let me show you some actually. This beautiful record by Billy Ocean, you can find it here to be honest. And like I said, this is one of my favorite spots in Lagos. The city of Lagos can often feel somewhat mysterious, which for me as a photographer adds to its unique charm. I often enjoy just taking a walk through the streets of Lagos Island. The buildings here contain a rich history dating back to the colonial era, with nods to Afro-Brazilian architecture from the 19th century and beyond. It's a multiverse of historical influences. You know, walking through this part of the city can often feel like traveling back in time. Dining in Lagos is about the food. It's about the experience. 
Welcome to Slow, one of the most talked about new restaurants in Lagos. Perfect for an evening out with friends or family. So Slow is literally one of the most unique spots in Lagos to visit. The space is beautiful, and the food, cocktail, everything you need. And I'm actually like having a good time right now. Nightlife in Lagos can be very adventurous. From clubs to bars to rooftop parties, even to the popular open mic nights at Bogobiri. Live performances are an integral part of the culture here in Lagos. Somehow I find myself drawn to spaces such as H-Factor and Fela's Shrine, where music is used as a higher form of expression. Lagos is very fast paced. Everything is always moving. The bridge is kind of like a clock. In the earliest hours, it can be quiet and still, but as the day awakens, it also gradually comes to life. At the edge of the Yaba district, in clear view of the iconic bridge, lies Makoko, a one of a kind community situated on the lagoon where canoes are the primary mode of transportation. This is, for me, arguably one of the most interesting spots in Lagos. Um, the community of people here are a mixture of weavers, boat makers, fishermen, people from different parts of Lagos. Their skill on the water, I don't think I've seen that kind of skill set anywhere else. Another locality overlooking the water is the beautiful and serene landscape known as Taqua Bay which is also home to a vibrant community of young local sufferers. My name is Lucky and I'm a sufferer. I love surfing because it's natural. Like, sometimes when I have a problem, like, I just took my boat to the water and, like, catch some few waves, you know? I feel happy, like, it's fun. I find your sense of community very inspiring. I think this is one of the things that makes Lagos so special, you know, being able to bond over uniquely shared experiences with anyone. This is one of the best cities in the world to visit. Thanks for watching Lonely Planet. Subscribe to see more videos from around the world.